I have a confession. I'm a liar. I'm not who you think I am. Or, no. Uh, <laughs> that's not fair. Uh, most of you know the real me. There are just parts uh, that I've hidden. Yeah, it feels better. Um, let me explain. Y'all remember the seminal TV show of our young lives, The Hills? You know, the, the reality TV show on MTV starred Brody Jenner, Audrina Partridge, Penny Montag, Spencer Pratt, and of course, her queen, Lauren Conrad, Elsie. Now, I remember there was this moment where all people would talk about was, is it real or is it fake? Was it, was it scripted? Or were these people real, living their real lives? It was all people could talk about. And then they did this thing uh, at the end of the show, the series finale or whatever, which by the way, if you haven't seen, drop everything and get on YouTube and watch that shit right now. It's brilliant. I'm serious. It's fucking brilliant. It's maybe the best series finale of a TV show of all time. So this question of is it real or, or is it not has been lingering in the back of our minds and the story um, of the moment is Kristen Cavallari, sidebar, she's trash, but uh, Kristen is like moving to London or whatever. It's this big clip, you know, this big, you know, will she or won't she? And Brody Jenner, who's like her love interest, if I ask Brody Jenner, comes over to stay uh, to, to her house. Um, he's like in her driveway and she's about to leave and he comes over to say goodbye, uh, but, but really to say, stay, to ask her to stay. And they have this big moment or whatever. And ultimately, Kristen decides to go. Uh, so Brody walks her to the car and opens the door and Kristen gives him one last look and drives off. You know, she pulls out of the driveway, leaving Brody standing there watching as she goes. And then just as she's about to turn the corner, her car stops. Uh, she stops and she gets out of the car and, and, and looks at him. And we cut to Brody expecting, you know, expect, well, I don't, I don't know what the fuck we're expecting, but Brody has been standing in front of her house all of a sudden, the background changes. And the house is pulled away because we realize we've been watching Brody in front of a screen. You know, all the background, the back, background pulls away and the fucking PAs come out or whatever and a bell rings and we realize we're on a fucking set. The camera pulls away we realize we've been watching them shoot a scene for a TV show in like a studio. You know, the curtains literally pulled out from under us. No, rug. That's rug. And like the credits roll and our fucking jaws are on the floor because like, cause like well, what, was any of it real? So, you know, that moment is like me. Recently on the televisions, you've all been watching the Tiger King. And more importantly, you've all fallen in love with John Finlay and Travis Maldonado. But I'm here to tell you that they are fakes. They're frauds. I'm here to tell you that I'm them. They're me. I'm the real tiger daddy. That's what he called me. That's what I am. Joseph Allen, also known as Joe Exotic, you are known as Joe Exotic to the world of Tiger King. But to me, you're always just my tiger queen. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry I couldn't come out. I'm sorry I wasn't ready to, to take this step with you, but it hurts me. It hurts me to see with these fakes, these fake actors playing me, faking me, faking our love. It's not your fault. It's my fault for not being ready to stand in front of those cameras with you. But I'm ready now, and I, 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 know, I know a lot of people don't believe I'm actually gay, but what? A straight country boy who works with animals and shoots guns. This song, if he isn't your king. Darling, you sang me. You love when I sang to you. And I'm not done singing. I will sing again. I'm coming for you, Tiger. I have my love for you no more. And Travis, John, watch your backs, motherfuckers, because I'm coming for you. I'm ready to be real. I'm ready to be me. Tiger Daddy. The real one.